no. I still don't like eggnog, but I do still like Lixmas, and it's time for Lixmas. Welcome to Lixmas Day 11. Today's lick comes from Tyler Stegall. It's one hell of a great lick. Let me play it for you. Very bluesy and just very cool. Works really well, in my opinion, over fast bluegrass. Let me play this lick for you a little faster. So let's talk about this lick. It's very cool. It's kind of the beginning is sort of like a basic bluegrass kickoff. Now it goes to a C7 chord, C9 chord. Now the part for me that really catches my ear is the eighth note rest at the beginning of the fourth measure. So that's one and. So that by itself, if you look at measure four, Right, we have one and. Then we have this little single string thing, which is also cool, and then it goes straight into this bend. And uh, in a perfect world, you want to bend this note all the way up, a whole step. It sure is hard to do that when you're playing fast, but that's what you should strive for. I mean, come on, look how cool that sounds. So, in my opinion, this lick is almost sort of like the beginning of an A part of a song. It's got a great strong kickoff. Sort of sounds like the beginning of a song. So, Tyler, I think you might be writing something here. More than just a lick. But the part, the really de the definitive part of the lick is, I would say, starting on measure four with a... So, I'm going to take that part um, and the very beginning kickoff and apply it to Pike County Breakdown. So, I'm going to play the first measure of that kickoff into Pike County Breakdown and then, and then um, insert this part a little bit later in the tune. Here we go. Have fun with this lick. It's a good one and have a very merry Lixmas.